Guys, in this video, let us look at what epidemiology means. Logy usually is study, isn't it? So, epidemiology. So, this word kind of resembles for you epidemic kind of a thing, right? So, epidemiology. According to internet, it is a branch of medicine, guys. It deals with incidence, distribution and possible control of diseases and other factors relating to health. Basically, it's all about diseases and health. Let's see what the textbook says. Textbook says, again, same thing. It is study. Study of something, definitely we know. It's a study of something and then whatever information you're getting out of the study, you will apply it for the control of health problems. This is also nice. But what are you studying? In a specified population, you will take a population and in that population, <clears throat> you will study the distribution and determinants of health related states or events. So this is what you have to write in the exam, right? Main thing are these things. Other things you will write, you will use it for the control of health problems. You will study in a specific population, all you will write. But what exactly are you going to study? distribution and determinants of health related states or events this is what you have to write in the exam distribution and determinants don't forget these two d's distribution and determinants okay guys so did you understand the uh, definition of um, uh, epidemiology okay in the exam then they will ask you a little more you can write you can find the causes of uh, diseases okay something like that you can write causes of diseases some more if you want to write, you can say it is the study, which is a scientific and systematic and data driven study. What study type of study? It is a scientific, systematic, data driven study of the distribution and determinant. These two words, they didn't change. What is this distribution? Distribution actually means frequency, pattern, all that comes under distribution. Under determinants, they are writing some things like <clears throat> the causes, the risk factors. These are the ones that determine the health, right? The causes and risk factors of the disease. So, determinants of health, related states and events, same sentence, nothing is changing here. In specified population, you will study this and then you will apply this study for the control of health problems. This is exactly the same that you have seen so far, but for study, they are writing it is scientific, systematic, data-driven study. For distribution, what exactly, what is distribution? Frequency pattern of the disease, that is the health event, health state and the determinant of the health state or event, that is the causes or risk factors, that's it, okay? And whenever they're saying population means what, that also they're explaining. <clears throat> population can mean neighborhood, school, city, state, country or even the world. Okay, that's it. So this is the definition of epidemiology. Now then in the exam, they will ask you what are the components of epidemiology. Same thing, you will say distribution and determinants. Same, same thing, distribution and determinants. Two words you write, okay. And frequency coming under distribution only, right. This much you write. What are the aims of epidemiology, they will ask. Define over, what are the aims. Aims means <clears throat> three things they have written here. To describe the distribution and magnitude of health, same thing. To describe the, the distribution, how big is this issue? Magnitude of health and disease problem. Magnitude, you want to tell how big this uh, particular issue is. Identify the etiological factors, risk factors, causes you want to identify. And um, uh, provide the data essential to the planning, implementation and evaluation of services for the prevention, control and treatment of diseases. So exactly you are going to take this data and you are going to plan and implement, evaluate the services which are required for prevention, control and treatment of these diseases and setting up priorities among those services. You can also decide the priority among these services. How big is this issue? What are the determinants? What is the distribution? And what are the etiological factors, causes and how will you plan, implement, evaluate services for the prevention, control and treatment of diseases. So all this you will have to write if they ask aims of epidemiology. You can just see the same language is continuing, same words, distribution determinants. Now how will you fulfill these aims? So you can have so many studies like descriptive studies, analytical studies, experimental or interventional studies. We'll look at these. Okay. What is the ultimate aim of epidemiology? So some ultimate aim they have written here. Let us see. Ultimate aim is to eliminate or reduce the health problem. This is what you have to write in the exam. You want to eliminate the health problem itself or you want to at least reduce the health problem or its consequences, promote health <clears throat> and well-being in society as a whole. So can you say these two ultimate aims of epidemiology? Ultimately what you want to do, you want to uh, eliminate this health problem or at least you want to reduce the health problem and its consequences or <clears throat> uh, one more thing they want to do, well-being of the society, right? What else they want to do? Promote health. Promote health and well-being of the society. These are the two ultimate aims, okay? So what are the approaches? 
how will you go to the population what will you do you will ask questions you will make comparisons right that's what you will do so here we are not giving you much information very high level we are telling you those studies whatever they are telling studies can be of so many types right you can have observational studies or experimental studies right so you can have observational studies and experimental or intervention studies two only only two you have observational and experimental experimental means there will be some intervention you will give them some drug or something so that will be randomized control trials clinical trials etc <clears throat> when it comes to observational you're just going to observe see observational means you have descriptive and analytical okay so in analytical you have all this case control study cohort study all these are important okay so many types of studies are there that's what you have to understand okay now what exactly you in these studies so you have uh, approach if they ask you what is epidemiological approach you will ask questions and make comparisons what type of questions will you ask what is the event what is the health event what is the problem what is the magnitude of the problem where did it happen when did it happen who are the people who are affected and why do you think it happened then you will compare you will what compare you will do so question some more other wait what can be done to reduce the problem how can you prevent this in future what action should be taken by the community okay what are the resources required what difficulties may arise how to overcome those difficulties all those questions have to be asked okay guys so many questions they will ask in this study then they will make comparisons like what do you mean by comparisons between a study group and a control group you will see what could be the causes between uh, these two like let us say there are some people with diseases and there are some people who don't have disease just an example they are giving you those are controls so you just see how much of exposure is there for each of these right like um, this disease people how much of exposure is there to smoking that will tell you the risk okay amount of risk so you will basically try to understand what what might have caused the disease in these people so all that you can do only by asking questions and making comparisons with people who don't have the disease measures what measures you will do you will check the mortality rate morbidity rate disability rate natality rate what is natality that is the number of births okay you can say num uh, the presence absence or distribution of characteristics measure the medical needs measure the distribution measure the demographic variables so basically you will measure a lot of things okay guys very vaguely we are telling you basically understand there is a disease you want to find out what could have caused the disease what are the risk factors right for lung cancer it could be smoking right so all this you want to find out so how will you find out we told you that you will ask some questions make comparisons then you will measure all the mortality morbidity all these uh, things you will measure measurements in epidemiology what are the tools for measurement rates ratios and proportions so you are measuring mortality they said what is the tool of measurement measuring mortality you have mortality rate under mortality rate what and all you have you have crude death rate infant mortality rate maternal mortality rate right so many uh, disease specific you have uh, mortality rate case fatality rates so many rates are there okay so those will be the tools of measurement similarly you have ratios you have maternal mortality ratio if you remember right odds ratio so many ratios you have heard proportions are also going to be there similarly proportion is a ratio again which indicates the relation uh, in magnitude of a part of the whole if you understood great so that is proportion so we're just telling you overall what epidemiology is this. these are the tools of measurement okay so that's it guys specifically what did you look at in this video uh, what is epidemiology we looked at we looked at the aim of epidemiology what are then what are the uh, methods right you saw so many observational um, under observational you had descriptive studies analytical studies then you have experimental or interventional studies then you have what will you measure okay in epidemiology or mortality rate morbidity rate etc and what are the tools to measure rate ratio proportion etc and there's something here we missed right ask question what is that approach what is the approach of epidemiology so let's just take a recap guys epidemiology definition is the study of the distribution and determinants of health related states or events in specified population and application of the study to the for the control of health problems okay guys definition you will study what distribution and determinants of health related states or events in specified population you will do the study and then whatever you gain out of the study you will apply it you will apply it for the control of these health problems okay 
So uh, basically, same thing they have written here again. Study means what type of study? Scientific, systematic, data-driven study. Distribution means what will you study? Frequency, patterns, etc. In determinant, what will you study? The causes, the risk factors you will study. Uh, and uh, it's not just about the disease, right? You will study the health-related uh, states and events, okay? And population means what will you study? Could be a neighborhood or a school or a city or a state, country, could be even the whole world. And then you will apply all this information for control of health problems, okay? So basically you are studying cause of disease. That much basic thing you remember, okay? For exam you will have to write these beautiful definitions. But just remember you are studying the cause of the disease. Or you are studying the cause of a health state. What are the components? You have the distribution determinants, frequency if you want you can write. Aims, aims mainly you have to write to describe the distribution and magnitude of the health problem. Defi you have to identify the etiological factors, right? Then you want to plan, implement and evaluate services, prevent, control, treat the diseases and you want to set up priority among the services. So those were the aims. Ultimate aim is what? To reduce, eliminate or reduce the health problem and its consequences to promote health, well-being of the society as a whole. So did you understand ultimate aim? Ultimate aim is to eliminate or reduce the health problem or and its consequences, promote well-being, uh, promote health and well-being of society. Okay. Then methods you saw, you have observational studies like descriptive studies, analytical studies. Guys, under descriptive studies, you will have time distribution, place distribution, person distribution that we will look at in the next video. Then you have analytical studies. <coughs> So under analytical studies, you have ecological, cross-sectional, case control study, cohort study, all this separately, we'll have to look at it in separate, separate videos. Experimental studies means uh, randomized control trials, field trials, community trials, you'll have to write these as epidemiologic methods, like studies, okay. Epidemiological approach, ask questions, make comparisons, you will ask questions to people and then make comparisons between the case and control groups and then you will be able to come, uh, uh, you derive at something. What do you arrive at? So basically measurements in uh, epidemiology are like you measure mortality, morbidity, disability, natality, etc, etc. Medical needs of the society. All this you will try to measure. Measure the demographic variables. All this you will try to measure. Then what are the tools for measurement? Only three things you have to write. Rates, ratios and proportion you have to write. I know these are very vague. You have to write these things. Rates, ratios and proportions are the tools of measurement. Then uh, that's it. So basically these studies elaborate, we have to elaborate in the next videos. Epidemiological triad means what? So basically you have an agent that is like a bacteria or anything. Uh, for example, a host will be a susceptible host like a man and this agent will cause this uh, disease in this host if the environment is favorable. So this becomes the epidemiological triad where you have the agent, host and environment. Okay. So all this you will learn much more in detail. So about epidemiology, you can write so much, right? It is never ending. But at least now you know what to write. If they ask to define what will you write, aim you can write, right? Define and aim, aim of epidemiology. That this too you should be able to write after watching this video, okay? So you have seen the definition, right? And you have seen the aims. And they have mentioned one ultimate aim here. All this you can write, okay? So see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.